Hi everyone, it's Miss Dana with the Corona Public Library bringing another virtual toddler story time. So let's get started. For our first song today, let's get our spiders out for Itsy Bitsy Spider. And we're going to do this two times. All right. All right, let's begin. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and wash the spider up. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Okay, let's do that one more time. Are you ready? Yeah? Awesome. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Awesome job. So for our next song, it involves two little black birds. So we're going to get my special friend out, all right? So. We're going to have some help for two little blackbirds. Can you guys get your blackbirds out? Yeah? Awesome. All right. We'll do this two times, remember? Okay. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. I'm going to do that one more time. Are you ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. <laughs> awesome job. So, we're going to continue and get our wiggles out for our book for today. Can you do that with me? Yeah? Awesome. Okay. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now no more wiggles are left in me so I can sit as still as can be. <laughs> awesome job. So I'm going to grab our book for today. Here it is. So let's get our books out. Here is my book. I open it wide to see all of the pictures that are inside. Today's story is The Bee Man by Lori Krebs. Okay. Here is my grandpa who is known in our town as The Bee Man. Here is his jacket with a zippered up hood that covers his face just the way that it should when he visits his hives as the bee man. Here are his gloves made out of cotton and leather protecting his hands in all kinds of weather when he tends to his hives as the bee man. Here is the beehive where all the bees sleep, tucked into a box called a shallow or deep, and then placed on a bench by the bee man. Here is the smoker that quiets the bees. Can we quiet the bees? Shh. One more time. Shh. And a hive tool that opens the beehive with ease for a much closer look by the bee man. Here is the queen bee who does her job well and lays tiny eggs in a six sided cell. She is the heart of the hive, says the bee man. Here is the drone bee with big bulging eyes and a large appetite supporting his size. He mates with the queen, says the bee man. 
Here are the workers, 10,000 or more, who gather the nectar to bring back and store in honeycomb cells for the bee man. Here are the house bees with swift moving wings that dry up the nectar a worker bee brings, making honey for me and the bee man. Here's the extractor, it's clickety-clack, removing the honey from frames on its rack and filling up jars for the bee man. Can we do clickety-clack like the extractor? Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Good job. Here's some of the honey returned to the hive. It's food for the bees to help them survive the long winter days near the bee man. Here are the bees protected from harm inside the hive, huddled cozy and warm. So I'll be here next year, said the bee man. Here is the wagon filled up to the brim with bottles of honey collected by him and brought to the house by the bee man. Here are the muffins, all warm and delicious and dripping with honey from grandma's best dishes. I'm glad that my grandpa's the bee man. Aww, uh -huh. how sweet is that? So, we're gonna finish with our last song for today. Can we get some movement going for Slippery Fish? Yeah? You ready? Okay. Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by a octopus, octopus, squiggling in the water. Octopus, octopus, go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by a tuna fish, tuna fish, flashing in the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish, go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by a great white shark, great white shark, Lurking in the water. Great white shark. Great white shark. Go, go, go. Oh no. It's been eaten by a humongous whale. Humongous whale spouting in the water. Humongous whale. Humongous whale. Go, go, go. Oh, all right. Thank you so much for joining me today for Toddler Storytime. For any more of our videos, story times, and more, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great week.